Yeah, I'd like to thank everybody that came out. My whole family, Irish. All the doctors who worked to see in my life. And all the cancer survivors and the people fighting out there. Just keep the fight up. Bo Cooper has been fighting his leukemia for six long years. Bo was in great shape before the leukemia hit. The first time Bo was diagnosed, it definitely slammed me to the ground. Multiple rounds of chemotherapy and a bone marrow transplant have failed him. We were devastated. When we heard about the CAR T cell clinical trials, it was like a new hope that there's something out there that can save Bo. It's a lot of hope. He's a strong, strong man. Six days ago, Bo received an infusion of genetically modified immune cells designed to target and kill his leukemia. But that treatment may now be killing him. It's OK, son. Just put your tube down, son. It's OK. You can't pull on it, OK? You got a tube in, right? Just relax, sweetheart. Just relax. First in human trials are the hardest thing to do in medical research. No matter what we do in the lab, this treatment may end up harming them. A lot of what we have to learn has to happen in patients. At the same time, we can never do anything to a patient that is knowingly harmful without a chance that it's going to help them. And it's that judgment, that risk-benefit ratio, which is the basis of all medical decisions, which is quite critical. We're trying to help the patient. We're trying to understand the disease. And somehow, those two have to fit together ethically, because we can never do something just to learn. I really don't know what's going to happen. I don't have any you know, experience from you know, that other physicians have had to draw from. Anything that happens is potentially part of the treatment that I'm giving to the patient. Unsure of the best course and running out of time, Dr. Fry confers with his colleagues. What we're talking about is what we need to do, you know, based on his clinical condition. Inflammation in the lungs is his major manifestation. You would advocate giving him steroids for whatever this inflammatory process is. Any other patient at this point we would have would give steroids. So what are the effects of steroids on CAR T cells? Anything, you know, we know at this point about the effects of steroids on CAR, CAR T cells is, is really, you know, speculation. There's no studies that have, you know, with 100% certainty said that steroids are negative from the standpoint of, you know, the function of CAR T cells. But we're at the beginning yeah. of this process. That's the only hesitation, right? Of because course. we're at the beginning and we don't want to jeopardize their ability to expand. We're all concerned about it, but I'm also very concerned that I got a patient who's on the ventilator in relatively high settings who's not showing that he's going to wean down to extubatable settings. Through. I would be inclined to treat him with steroids and then just kind of see how this plays out over the next 24 hours and reserve the higher dose steroids for, you know, later. All right. This is a place where leading edge science happens. And leading edge science brings with it leading edge ethical questions. And doctors who are working with very seriously ill patients and doing research on those patients, that creates a circumstance where the doctor is like torn between what do I do for this patient to make sure that this patient doesn't die or this patient has the best chance of improving, even if it means it's going to ruin the science. OK, so I um, just want to update you on, we just had a, a sort of a, a big discussion. So what we decided, and I think this is a very reasonable approach, is to give some lower doses of steroids and seeing if we can you know, improve his, his breathing condition a little bit here over the next couple of days. But we do know for sure that 
steroids kill T cells. Well, we know how much steroids affect a T cell that has a car on it. We have no idea. You know, we're all, you know, looking at the pieces and trying to come up with the best way of trying to balance this. And the treatment for each of those two different things, the CAR T cells and for Bose clinical condition, may not be entirely compatible. I appreciate your honesty and the rest of the teams. I think all yeah. of you have yeah. certainly been open and honest with us. Like, yeah. I don't doubt that at all. I didn't want to jeopardize the CAR T cells in any way, shape, or form, just because we know that this is Bo's only opportunity, you know, for survival is the, the CAR T cells. So anything that, that may have put them at risk, didn't want to see it happen. But there's some great minds here that I would never go against. You know, it might not be what I'm looking for, but I, I know that they have Bo's best interests. I'll check in with you guys uh, later than tomorrow, and if obviously anything changes you know, dramatically, you know, I'm, I'm close by, so. Okay.